title of, are you paying attention? What? Peace. Peace, correct. A plus, the candle of peace. Today we're going to look at a piece of artwork that was painted by um, Edward Hicks, and it's called The Peaceable Kingdom. Now I want you to, pay, you know this painting? Awesome. Okay, I want you guys to pass this down, and if, or if you want to come up and look here, and tell me some things that you see in the picture. What do you see? Tell me something you see. What do you see? But there's peace between the humans and animals. All the animals are teaming each other. Whoa. Cow. You see, you see a cow. I like that. What else? Peace. Yes. What else do you see? Everybody's not killing each other. Everybody's not killing each other. Hence the peaceable kingdom. Yes. I see a painting. You see a painting. Okay. Very broad stroke. What else? They were trying to make it look realistic. I like that. Yeah. I see a painting that looks like a painting. A painting that looks like a painting. Very profound. Yeah. <laughs> I see a lion. A lion. What else? Is that a cow? Yeah. So what? I, yes, exactly. So if you look, you see a lot of animals, and you see something like this child over here is petting a lion. Do you think you would ever pet a lion? Not unless you weren't sure if you wanted to see another day. You probably <laughs> wouldn't pet a lion, yes. I would pet a lion if it was a baby lion and it was asleep. Okay, all right. Well, let's give that stipulation. There's also the main enemy of sheep is a wolf, and there's a wolf lying next to the sheep. There's an ox next to the lion. If you look in the back here, there is American settlers and Indians, because at the time of this painting, we were not so peaceable with the Indians. And so that is part of the thing. So this goes, yes, go ahead. Um, it wasn't Thanksgiving, but we, well, we don't really know. We don't really know. Yes. No. Oh, I don't know. So this goes with our scripture for today that Zalen is going to do with Leslie in just a bit. And it talks about a time, as I, Isaiah talks about a time where there was a lot of not great things going on. People were worried and wondering what would be happening and would life ever be peaceful? peaceful. So that's what this painting is depicting, where there will be a time when those who are not peaceful with each other will be. And at the end it says, and a child will lead them. Who do you think that child might be that they were talking about? Jesus. Jesus, correct. Oh, you have another answer? I'm afraid. Go. Okay. All right. So he couldn't think of a clever enough thing quick enough. That was the problem. Oh, you got it now. Okay. Go. Oh, thanks. That was helpful. Okay, so Jesus will lead will show us the way to peace. And what season we're in, Advent, the building up to Christmas, to the birth of Jesus celebrating, you're all going to be in the Christmas pageant next week. Really? Yes, you're all going to be there to celebrate the birth of Jesus. The child will lead them to peace. So I like each of these child, young adults, children, I'd like each of you to think of one person this week that you will make peace with. Someone that maybe you don't like to eat lunch with, maybe a sibling, maybe your uh, parent, maybe something that comes this week. You just keep it to yourself. You think about it. And I want you to do one peaceful act this week. We yeah, so do a peaceful act with Sebastian. That would be awesome. Let us pray. Dear God, and a child shall lead us. His name is Jesus. He will lead us into peace and hope and joy and love, not only in this Advent season, but each and every day. Amen. <laughs>